So the English curriculum is not changing a great deal. At ACARA, we have decided to keep the structure as it always has been, which is what we call three strands. So those three strands are language, literature and literacy. Students will learn about language and how it's used and they will understand it through literature, which is the second strand, and they will become competent communicators through the literacy strand where they get to practice how to express themselves and how to understand and use ideas in multiple text forms. When reviewing the English curriculum at ACARA, we were really conscious of the fact that technology has changed and that our language that we used within the curriculum had to reflect those changes. So for example, when students are writing and creating texts, we had to give them the opportunity to use the technology available. Texts aren't only those traditional written essays, but multimodal presentations which may include podcasts and other dynamic ways of presenting information that reflect more closely technological advances in the way we communicate. ACARA has been conscious at looking at foundation and ensuring the content reflects the age and stage of the first formal year of education, recognising that these young children are really exploring language and literature for the first time in a formal setting. Foremost in our mind was the student sitting in a classroom and fostering that love and appreciation of language. During the review process, ACARA sought feedback from our reference groups, professional associations and critical friends. And now we are very keen to have feedback from anybody who wishes to have a say. It's really important we hear your views. Your responses will help shape an Australian curriculum for the next generation of children. To give your feedback, simply complete the survey. Thank you.